Drupal.com and we continue talking about setting up a development environment on VirtualBox and Ubuntu. If you've just installed Drupal on a brand new installation of Ubuntu, most likely you run into this error on setting email. You can see it here in the logs. Um, this is not a very critical error for local development. Drupal is going to work fine, but what's going to happen is it's not going to be able to send out emails and this might be a problem in, if you want to test uh, a module that needs this function such as email subscriptions or newsletters so um, in this lesson um, we're going to be installing a mail server one of the most popular mail servers for Linux called Postfix and um, just uh, do a simple configuration that would allow us to uh, send emails on um, just locally on our local host, which is fine for the local development because we don't want these emails to be sent out outside. Installing Postfix is as easy as just running this command. So aptitude install Postfix. And it's going to show a list of options. Uh, what we need is local only. So let's hit tab and OK. And then choose local only here on the configuration window. Uh, here you have to enter a system mail name. Normally, if we had to configure it to send out emails, outside of our local server, we would have to enter a fully qualified domain name. But since we're only going to be using it locally, we can, you can just use your host name that uh, you entered when you were first setting up Ubuntu. Now that Postfix is installed, we can use our Drupal installation to check if it's working properly. So go to your account and make sure that the user you're logged in on your Drupal site has your email has email as um, your username at localhost. So then let's go to administer modules um, and enable trigger module. Then we're going to go to site configuration actions and let's create a send an email action. Send email. Then the recipient is going to be author. And you can just enter some subject here, such as um, Save it, then go to Triggers, and we're going to choose this trigger here for saving a new post. And you can uh, also choose the same one for saving an updated post. Okay, now we're going to go and create a new content. And as you can see, we don't get any mail errors anymore. And you can verify it with the logs. So you can see, um, send email. So it works. So now where is our email? 
if you want to see it on the system, you can go to to this path, and you can see Postre created a file uh, called Natalie, which is my username. It's going to be different for your own username, of course. So if you want, you can just use a um, any editor to read it. And you can see the contents of this email here. Now what's going to happen if just wanted to use some outside email or a dummy email? Let's see what happens if we just create a new user. Um, let's call him Bob and so like Bob at gmail.com. Give him password and notify user. Check this box. And if you go back to the system path, um, you can see Post has created a www dash data file and this file is going to have the contents of all the errors such as bounced emails here. If you're planning on sending a lot of emails with your Drupal site, this way of checking emails might not seem very user friendly to you. So instead you can set up uh, the email client on Ubuntu to check um, and um, receive your emails for you. Just the local emails in this case. So um, if you go to Applications Office uh, you can open Evolution Mail Client. And enter your full name and email address from which you want to receive emails. As a third type, choose local delivery. And then you have to find pass where your username email is. Go to mail. Okay, and I uh, can use. Like, we're not going using evolution to send email, so sort of tab is not very important for now, anyway. But you can use send mail instead. Okay. And after you hit send and receive, you can see this new message here. Evolution is going to be catching emails for your main account from now on. Now let's assume that you want to create a few other user accounts on your Drupal site, but you don't want their email notifications to be sent to www-data file where it can be easily reached, but instead deliver it to your uh, local email. So you can do that by uh, modifying the LSS file. So open your LSS file. And by the way, um, it is generally recommended to uh, forward root messages to your main account too. So let's do that. So let's say we want to create a user with the name Bob, but we want uh, Bob at localhost to be forwarded to your own emails. 
let's save the file. And now you have to run new aliases command, then restart postfix. Now let's change the email for Bob to localhost. And let's create content and attribute it to Bob. Let's go back to evolution and receive. And you can see that even though the mail went to Bob, it was forwarded to my account. So this is a neat trick if you only have a few users that you want to test sending emails to. But um, Sometimes it just happens that you might have a whole bunch of emails that you want to check and um, creating a new alias for each of them would be too much of a hassle. In this case, the best method is to configure Postfix to forward all undelivered emails to your address. So, uh, and if you want to do that, uh, you have to modify the main configuration file. Well, first of all, let's set the queue lifetime to zero, so Postfix will only try to um, send the email once instead of keeping it for five days or whatever the default configuration is. And then we need to specify the default address where all undelivered messages are going to go to. Let's save the configuration file and again reload Postfix. Now let's create an account with some bogus email and see what happens. Okay, and you have received this email as well. If you'd like to find out more about setting up mail for lo um, local development, you can go to the Drupal page and um, check out some suggestions here. For example, you can do it from the Drupal site by using the reroot email I think it's going to be very handy on a shared hosting. So this is all for today and if you have any questions or suggestions for the future tutorials, please feel free to go to www.friendlydrupal.com and I'll be happy to hear from you. Until next time!